Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll solve one more problem related to weighted average cost of capital. So they have given you the sources of finance, the values and expected after tax costs. Take five columns. First column will be sources of finance. Second column will be your values column. Third column, you can write it as W which stands for weight. Fourth column will be expected after tax costs and the fifth column that is the last column will be WX. So you have to multiply column 3, column number 3 and column number 4. Then you will get column number 5. So now sources of finance, the same way how they have given in the question, you can write it down. That is first is equity share capital, second one is retained earnings. Third one is preference share capital and fourth one is debt capital. The values also as it is you can write and you have to do the total of it. So 15 lakh plus 12 lakh plus 18 lakh plus 15 lakh. If you do the total of all these four values you get 60 lakh as the total. Now we need to find out the weights. To find out the weights we need to divide each value with the total. So 15 lakhs divided by 60 lakhs into 100. If you do that, you get 25 lakhs. Then 12 lakhs divided by 60 lakhs into 100. If you do, you get the weight that is 20. Next is, you need to do 18 lakhs divided by 60 lakhs into 100. You get 30. Then 15 lakhs divided by 60 lakh into 100 that is 25 when you add all the weights you will get summation w this should be always equal to 100 so this will be equal to 100 now expected after tax costs we have given in the problem itself that is 5 10 12 11 multiply these two column column number 3 and column number 4 these two columns should be multiplied. When you multiply these two columns, you will get WX. If into 5, so I'll write it 125 in WX column. 20 into 10 will be 200. 30 into 12 will be 360. And 25 into 11 will be 275. Now add all these four values, then you will get summation WX that is 960. Now we can use our weighted average capital cost of capital formula which says sigma WX divided by sigma W. So sigma WX is 960 divided by sigma W is 100. You get an answer of 9.6%. That is your weighted average cost of capital. This is how we need to solve the problem. Hope you have understood how to solve this problem. In my further videos, I'll come back with some more problems related to cost of capital.